Has anyone ever said to you at work, don't take it personally. It's just business, right? It's just work. There's nothing personal about it. Well, probably people say that all the time. You know, somebody will say, I know it's a tough year and this is really hard news, but we're going to have to cut your departmental budget. But don't take it personally. Or somebody will say, I really, I really admire the work that you've been doing on this project. It's been great work. But, you know, things have changed and we're just, we have to pull the plug on it. But it's not personal. Well, we hear that all the time. But the people who say that kind of thing, they really just don't get it. Because work is personal. I mean, I take my work very personally. Now, the only way that I can not take work personally is if I turn myself into a cog in somebody's machine, right? Machine parts don't take things personally. I mean, like when, you know, when was the last time that your car mechanic said to you, you know, your, your carburetor isn't really performing at its best these days, and I think that you, you've offended it somehow. It's feeling undervalued, right? No, machine parts, they don't take things personally. But I don't want to be a machine part. I want to be a human being. And we humans, we take things personally. And we take our work very personally. And our best work, when we bring our personal best to work, it doesn't get any more personal than that. And getting people to bring their personal best to work, that's the holy grail of leadership. So in order to lead people to bring their personal best to work, you have to get personal.